There are people in your life that you will never be able to repay, but you might be able to help them out. Yeah, Barbara Harris has spent a lifetime putting others before herself, but she's kept a secret from some of her closest friends. It's a secret that was recently uncovered after the unexpected death of her husband. Our Joe Fisher is here now with how her coworkers are turning a tin on your side for some help. Anita and Tom, Barbara Harris is a preschool teacher in Virginia Beach with a heart just about as big as they come, but she has fallen on some pretty tough times. Now, over the years, she's given kids on the street a place to live. She's given families hot meals and transportation, but she admits over those years, she's neglected one area of her own life. The Christmas presents at Plaza Christian Academy will go to families who would otherwise go without. We're, we're trying to help people get up and move forward. <laughs> but perhaps the person most in need is one of their own. And even with all she's going through, she is willing to give, give, give. Giving is in her blood, but accepting help is not so easy for Barbara Harris. I wish they wouldn't do it. I ask them, please don't do that, you know, because it's too much. It's a lot. In October, someone slammed into this trash truck in Chesapeake, killing her husband, George. You know, people wanted to come by and bring stuff, you know, and then I wouldn't let them come. She was embarrassed of the leaky roof, broken windows, and holes in the siding of her mobile home in Virginia Beach's County View neighborhood. Said, when it rains, um, I guess by the water sitting up there, it just leaked in and it, it was just start messing up the inside of the ceilings. Down the walls. Down the walls, yes. Harris has lived here for 17 years. Like I said, I take kids off the street and they stay in the same place that they'll sleep on the couch, on the floor. She's been teaching at the preschool for the last 12. I was glad to come back here because they keep me alive. Now the school wants to help rebuild the home. Part of it is because Miss Harris gives more than she takes. Harris hopes one day she'll feel comfortable inviting her students over. They always say, Miss Harris, when are we going to come to your house? When are we going to come to your house? And I'm like, soon, baby, as soon as I get it safe, you're going to come over. The school hopes that day will come sooner rather than later. And the school says this is about a $60,000 project that they simply cannot do alone. They're hoping to hear from contractors, nonprofits, and of course, any volunteers out there. We posted how to get in contact with the school over on wavy.com. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.